Hello, this is Sharkbite1000. About to show the one of the best games on the N64. Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is the, well, one of the less tense games that I can talk on the mic. The other games were extreme and this one's pretty relaxing, a good adventure game. Um, on this save, I believe I just beat the Forest Temple. I haven't played this in about two years, so... Well, maybe a, about a year, actually. I think I'm ready for the Fire Temple since I just got this suit. Whenever last time I, you know, played this. I haven't actually... I don't think I've gone in there yet. So I'm gonna be walking up to the fire temple. I hope the sound is synced good. I'm not messed up. I hate redoing videos. I wonder if Yeah, those still work for Hey, I need some arrows. Yeah. They work for slingshotting or hook shotting your hook shot to these boxes since they're wooden. And Abby's annoying the hell out of me. Here we go! Death Mountain Trail. Like bombs. Boom. Pop. Those cannot be blown up with the bomb. Instead, you have to beat the fire temple and get the um, the big hammer, the megaton hammer. And that way will not work since it's an alternate entrance I can take. This game is was one of the biggest first games I did on the 64. Well, Mario 64 was a a big adventure game, but to me to me this one was like six to eight times more shit to do, and they had more time to work on this one than Mario 64 because they had to rush uh, Super Mario 64 to get it out by launch day. This one they had more time to work on before they released it. They spent a good amount of time on Mario 64. Whoa. Damn it. Money. All I have is the hook shot, not the long shot. Oh yeah. This is a one-time thing. Learning the song. The feeling in the heart becomes stronger over time. The passion of friendship. So, so. Okay, I'm not gonna read this. <laughs> Do 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 Death man. That's me. Huh? 
And it will and you use that and warps you here, obviously. I need to get that sometime, that piece of heart. I wonder. Uh oh, I just started a new one. Let's go to the pit of doom. Let's jump into the fire. Hey, I never noticed these bricks here before. Wait a minute, I never noticed something over here. Uh, they should have one of those statue things just for the hell of it. And there is the temple. I'm not going to really do much to the temple since this video would take 30 minutes and be like a huge ass file. I don't think I'm supposed to go in here first, but I did it for the hell of it. Uh, it's just showing that there's a boss key. And he's gonna say, don't eat me. Let's see what he says. I don't think that dragon could actually eat these uh, Gorons unless it like really ripped them in like 10 pieces before swallowing them. But they described it as swallowing them whole. This temple um, has a really good artwork deal to it. It just kind of reminds you something in some foreign country I've never been to. But I actually have uh, version 1.1, I believe, which would be the second rarest. Zelda version. A lot of people have 1.2 and I heard this temple have some kind of secret chanting. I mean I've always played this version. Always. Since this is what we own. I'm playing on the original. I'm playing on the 64. Also I noticed one time I saw version 1.2 on uh, in the Deku Tree. The blocks have different shapes on them. And on this version, they're like a moon. But that's always what I notice them as. They look like just a circle. Okay, brother, we got a deal. Gonna try to kill this dragon for you. Wait a minute, what did he just do? I wasn't even kind of paying attention to what he was saying, but. What the hell? Uh, I guess I probably need to go over there. Have the hover boots. <laughs> oh, that was close. Is there something down there? Just a platform. <laughs> Give me a secret to get it out of here. A secret? Yeah, no shit, it looks kind of weird sitting a path that leaves. In Majora's Mask, that would be a stray fairy. And the small keys were like a little bit bigger with like a cold center. I wonder. Um, this might be pretty dumb, but I wonder what's in here. Probably nothing, probably a pit of doom. Yep. At least you got the fire suit, so it doesn't hurt me. It actually didn't hurt me at all. Yeah, I think, uh, you can hear that, um, 
Chanting. And when I looked at version 1.2 in the Deku Tree, Dooku Tree, whatever, uh, it looks kind of weird because I'm not, I'm just always, I've always played 1.1. Um, and it, but a lot of people played version 1.2. Ganon's blood is red in this one, and always that's always how I remember. I don't remember that green shit, you know. On this game, 99% of the shit I figured out on my own, including heart pieces, I didn't go on the internet. They didn't hardly have internet back in the day. And I didn't read a guide. I did 95% of this on my own. My brother helped me a bit on it. Back in 1998, 1999. Shit, I'm really getting into this and the video's gonna stupid program I have is gonna cut it off. I'm wanting to beat this temple now. It's gonna take a whole bunch of video. Stop it. 